the crucial hour of switches and swaps and flops as the great scramble has begun. Isn't that true? Yep. And this was two days before all of this happened. So like, because a week after Biden resigns, yeah, and this whole the swap bait and switch, yeah, uh, and so this, yeah, so this was like you know two days before all of these events wow. started. Wow. There is a great scramble and panic as they have caught themselves in their own net, says the Lord. The pit that they have dug for others has caught and ensnared them, says the Lord. For they are not contending with a man, says the Lord. They are not mocking man, says the Lord. They are contending with me, Ruach Elohim. This is all capital that part. They are mocking and challenging my capital sovereignty, says the Lord. They are mocking my capital authority, says the Lord. They are mocking the very existence of what I, the Lord, have placed, uh, had in place since the earth began, says the Lord. Wow. I, the Lord God, speak, and it is. I am, capital says the Lord. They are a vapor, says the Lord, a vapor. And that is what their twisted, heinous plan shall now turn into, a vapor, before their very eyes. So the Lord's saying right there it was going to be foiled. What they were going to attempt was going to be foiled. Yes. So, Amen. Thank you, Lord. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, America has strayed. Yes, America has chased after the bales. It has chased after the gods of greed, power, and indulgence, says the Lord. America, in its defiance, decided they, capital, had a better way. Man decided they, capital, had a better way, says the Lord. And this better way had embedded in it the chains of hell, enslavement, bondage, perversion, blasphemy, pride, and rebellion. And such took over America to the highest seats. And yes, I, the Lord, allowed it. I allowed it for a full capital display to project across your nation to see the wickedness in all its ugliness, that the people of your nation may see what lurks under every foul stench of agendas and talking points and plans and bills and strategies, says the Lord. Yes, so true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously. But yeah. yes, I mean, without all of the exposure, there is no way, because for how many years was everything hidden and covered and now most people you talk to are like, I'm, I'm not watching the news. I'm not reading that. That's not true. I mean, it's, it's like you've never seen before. No, no, it's not. And, and it is, it, it, it's allowing all of the stench and all its ugliness to come out. Yep. You know? so, so it's not concealed anymore. It's not perfumed. It's not band-aided. It's none of that. You're going to see it in all its ugliness. So you can't say, well, I didn't know. Yes. You know, to which we're thankful, even though it's hard. Yes. To have to see all the truth because it's so evil, Amanda. It's so evil, but it's it is hard to see because it's so evil. And you get up. I mean, I have to keep myself from yeah. getting righteous anger when mm -hmm. I see certain things because it's just so the enemy is so wicked. Yeah. Um, but I'm thankful that we know now because I had no clue before 2020 mm -hmm. any of the things that now I know. I had no idea. Yep. You know, I'll tell you, Italians are great at righteous anger. We're <laughs> hardwired for it. <laughs> Maybe I'm part Italian. <laughs> Maybe I'm part Italian then. Okay. <laughs> and says the Lord of hosts, Isaiah wrote, in the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted, that's capitals, up, and the train of his robe filled the temple, that's capital, mm -hmm. the holy place. Uzziah was causing a spiritual block in the land of Israel. His actions, capital, caused events to occur that caused the temple to be unclean and a nation to suffer. When King Uzziah was removed, says the Lord, that block lifted, the bondage broke. However, the people still needed to turn, says the Lord. So I'll explain what all this means because uh, what, what, what was being said here, because when Uzziah went into the temple, he did a rebellious thing. He tried to do the priest's job. Okay. And so he was struck with leprosy for it. And there were, uh, there were a bunch of priests that opposed him to try to stop him, and he refused to listen. Mm. Got very prideful. He refused to listen. And he was struck with leprosy. So his son, Jotham, had mm -hmm. to rule for him. Jotham did not remove the high places from the land, which caused the people to go to the high places and sacrifice, which laid the groundwork in the nation for Ahaz, which caused Israel completely to turn. 
So that one thing, Uzziah, what happened with Uzziah caused a chain reaction for all of this. And because of what Uzziah did in the temple, that's why Isaiah is saying when the in the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord because that mm. that veil that had come over the nation from that wow. in a way lifted and, Uzziah, and Isaiah was able to see the Lord. So that's why he's saying wow. what he's saying. I never thought, I've read that scripture so many times, man. I've never thought about why, but everything is in the, in the word that is specifically there for a reason. So why did he mention in the year King Uzziah died? Well, right. now I that's know. Why? Because he was wow. able to see the Lord. Yes, there, there was a bl something broke over the land where Isaiah King was, was able evil. To see. Yes, yeah, and then he died, and then uh, Isaiah saw the Lord. Yes, and Uzziah didn't no. start out as a bad king. He was actually followed in the ways of the Lord till he got, you know, prideful and rebellious and did this thing in the temple. That's a big no-no, you know. And then in Second Chronicles twenty-eight, when Ahaz comes to power, he's twenty years old. And he reigns for 16 years and he didn't do right in the sight of the Lord at all, they said. So he did not do right at all in the sight of the Lord. He walked in the way of the kings of Israel and even made cast images for the Baals. He burned incense in the valley of ben Hinnon and burned his sons as an offering in accordance with the repulsive acts of the pagan nations who the Lord had driven out before the sons of Israel. So all of that paved the way for Ahaz. Oh, wow. wow. He burned his own sons. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And he caused, he caused Israel to, and why? Because when Jotham had to rule, because of what Uzziah did, Jotham didn't take away the high places. Yes. He compromised. He allowed the people to still go sacrifice at the high places. And that oh. ended up, you know, opening a door that was brought to what we see in Second Chronicles 28. Because there's a ripple effect for our actions. I mean, that's for us today as well as we serve the Lord. Amen. You know, especially for, for leaders of nations as well. There is always a ripple effect, good or bad. Yes. With leaders of nations. Okay. Oh, America, change your direction, says the Lord. Oh, Eagle, turn from your direction and reroute because of the treachery ahead, says the Lord. Be ready and alert, says the Lord. Be sober-minded in this hour, for the desperation has mounted that the most outlandish, destructive, heinous act shall be attempted. So he's warning it right here. The Lord is warning the time we're about to enter. Shall be attempted to hold on to a platform that has now become dry sand and is crumbling piece by piece in this hour. America is in the valley, says the Lord. Yes, it is a valley of decision. However, it is also a valley of dryness, of lawlessness. And I am your shepherd, O America, that's capital. I, the Lord, your God, am your shepherd. If you stay in this valley, you will stagnate and fall. In this hour, there must be a great push of faith to get through such a valley, for the pressure system in such is causing nothing to grow and a decaying of what is. Wow. So these are strong words two days before yep. events started to unfold. He's yes. He's not using words, the Lord. Yes. Okay. Thus be says ready the Lord. and alert. Yes, be ready and alert. You see right there, it's right that he says it right there. Be ready and alert. Yeah. Hold on, I'm go I'm going to it. Oh, America, you go. Yes, be ready and alert, says the Lord. Be sober minded in this hour. Now he's making a reference to to scripture. Mm -hmm. Right. Be yes. sober-minded and vigilant yes. because yes. the enemy roams about like a lion seeking whom he may devour. So he's warning of this. He's pointing at that scripture in, in, in that in, on July 11th when he gave this word. That's what he's pointing at. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I know. Interesting. Right? God knew. God he knew. knew. He knew. And, you know, th this was one of two words. The other one was the political backdraft word that I talked about last time. America must prepare for the enormous political backdraft that's about to happen. So all this terminology within a month, you know, yep. leading up to it is, is interesting. Thus says the Lord, the government, the highest seats in your nation are about to make a very capital sharp maneuver. Now, this is July 11th. That those of both parties shall look on in shock as this sharp maneuver shall cause a derailment and tracks to break and wheels to lose their security and fall off, says the Lord. We all saw that happen. Yes. Yes. Yep. And both parties were in shock. Democrats were in shock. Republicans were in shock. Yep. Okay. 
I, the Lord, raise kings up and I bring them low. And I, the Lord, will not capital be challenged by men thinking they can circumvent me, that's capital, almighty God, and keep their seats. For in this hour, you have attempted to challenge and ascend in equality to the throne of almighty God. In your delusion and puffed up grandeur, you have thought such. You have thought as well, O oh, judge who sits on the Supreme Court, that you will be the one who flips and sabotages what I, the Lord, have set out to do. And there shall be a hard capital correction for such, says the Lord. For you have made deals in the dark and have been lured into such, and your foot is one step away from the trap closing, you losing your footing and falling off your seat. Now that part is going to happen. So we're waiting for that part because he's talking about Supreme Court judge. Do you know which one? I have I have two ideas. One's a man, one's a woman. Okay. So I have, I do. I I have I have you know a couple of you know ideas in mind mm -hmm. when it comes to this. Um, uh -huh. it, you know, it it might be. You see, he says you'll be the one who flips and sabotages. So it leads me to believe it's somebody that initially was conservative. Okay. Because I don't think someone, a liberal flipping to conservative is going to, you, know, you see what I'm saying? Is yeah. it, having more conservative ways is going to sabotage necessarily. Yep. But I think the other way around would, for sure. Well, we're going to keep an eye out for that because. Yeah, keep an eye out. Because that's like one of the next things potentially to happen here in, in the order that this, you know, has gone. Okay. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, the high places, says the Lord, how they have attempted to claim territory in this time. You shall begin to see these high places fall in unusual and unexpected ways. For my power, capital, shall tear them down, says the Lord, in ways that will shock the nation and cause those in their corruption to become very uneasy as such occurs. Okay. Amen. Thus says the Lord. The church is being measured on my capital righteous scales and weighed in this time. Many who call themselves shepherds are attempting to publicly justify what they have done in the dark, how they have turned unnatural feelings and lusts have developed because of such perversion. They let claim their podiums and their seats. Perversion and permissiveness have taken the seats of shepherd and judge within the church, says the Lord. I, the Lord, have given time. I have given mercy. And you know better, says the Lord, that's capital. Your fathers gave you a righteous and secure foundation and you and your pompous thinking and philosophical exploits have desecrated that foundation. You have desecrated the altar of the Lord with strange spirits and strange sacrifice and unnatural sounds that are a stench in my nostrils, says the Lord. This, says the Lord, shall be exposed and cleaned out. For many churches have become a sanctuary for demons and devils and a place to hatch their agendas and have the church promote them. Enough, says the Lord, enough. That's capitalized. Rectification in this time, says the Lord. Correction in this time. It is time, says the Lord, to move on from the dysfunction. It cannot swirl around you any longer and create disorderly effects in your lives. This, says the Lord, must be cleansed as well. This is such a good word, and a lot of people needed to hear that. Yeah, praise because God. Because their churches and are making decisions, and their leaders within their churches are opening up their churches. And uh, I saw one clip the other day of a I I don't I think it was a Methodist church where they were coming out as as the man the gentleman had makeup on queer yeah yeah and and so you can't sit under you can't be there anymore you you can't sit under that no you I mean you have to get out. This mm -hmm. is, this is the Lord confirming that to you. If you're sitting under a place where there is mixture within the church, yeah. the Lord's telling you right now, okay, you need to step away from that because judgment's coming. You don't want to be part of that. No. And the, the other thing I think the Lord is, is explaining here is that when you let enough perversion and permissiveness into your pulpit, mm -hmm. that spirit can attach to the shepherd. And suddenly that shepherd is having unnatural feelings. Wow. Because all they have done is permitted, you know, wow. and enabled, you know, and, mm -hmm. and and sympathize to the point of allowing it so close to them that it could actually attach to them for their destruction. Yep. A little leaven ruins the whole lump. Mm -hmm. And that is, that is so true. And yes. that's a powerful word from the Lord. Very yeah. powerful. Uh huh. And, 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 you know, nobody's perfect. Like the Lord doesn't choose 
perfect people, but he expects obedience and submission. Yes. And, and you can't, and Uzziah was a perfect example of that. Uzziah at, at some point rebelled and decided I'm going to do my own thing and I can, and I can just, you know, do whatever I want in the eyes of God and get mm -hmm. away with it. And I don't have to follow in order mm -hmm. and look what happened. So yes. we see a lot of that going on right now. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Sadie's on my desk. Public service announcement, everyone. The cat is on my desk. I'm going to try to keep her, her tail Keep her from of... walking on your keyboard. <laughs> God help me. Okay. And says the spirit of the Lord this day. Watch Switzerland in this hour. Watch France as more upheaval and a deep excavation of their government and ruling practices shall bring forth devastation to that country. Call unto me the Lord God, O people of France. In an hour, your own government is attempting to rob you. And you have allowed it with your progressiveness and liberal wanton ways, says the Lord. Revival shall hit France, says the Lord. Renewal and revival shall break out in France. In New Zealand, says the Lord. Watch Germany as they make a very capital sharp move that will shake up Europe, says the Lord. I'm waiting to see what this is. Yeah, because Germany is going to do something. Yes, that's going to put that all of Europe is going to, you know. Yep. It's going to shake them up a bit. Whatever you, whatever Germany does, it's going to shake up Europe. Well, I'm, I'm thankful that the Lord's saying revival sitting France. And how many times, Amanda, have we seen when countries and even cities and places, when they're at a low, a low, a low, the spirit of God comes to revive. Yes. And a lot of times in the hardest times that we walk through, we are the most open to God. We are at the times where we're crying out, Lord, help us. And you see the spirit of God come and revive cities and nations in those times. So it's like the worst of times, and but best, yet spiritually the best, the the best of, times. of times. Yes. A tale of two cities. Yep. A tale of two cities. Now I will tell you this, the joy of the Lord, the justice of Yahweh, God's righteous justice and judgment from his throne is going to hit the leadership of France. And that's oh, what's awesome. going to bring revival. That That is going to hit the leadership of France. After what the leadership of France just pulled as well with the Olympics and everything else they have done, yes. the joy of the Lord is set to hit France. Praise God. So to hit their leadership, yeah. Okay. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, watch Egypt, says the Lord, and Lebanon in this time. For a Jewish man shall be raised up in Egypt to be positioned for such a time where Egypt must be restrained or there shall be a triangular war in the Middle East, says the Lord. Now that's all moving into position right now. We're watching this happen real time. Wow. Lebanon, says the Lord. Oh, Lebanon, you harbor what is not of me, says the Lord. You harbor those who claim they serve me. However, serve a very capital false, that's capital, and bloodthirsty ruler of the darkness that is not God. It is not, that's capital. It is the Baals and the Moleks who have cloaked themselves as such, says the Lord. They have cloaked themselves. Your conscience is seared and Lebanon has gone the way of Cain attempting to kill Abel because Abel was favored by me, the Lord God Almighty, El Shaddai. You have gone such a way and now the grace has thinned and the hour of judgment and correction is upon you. Forsake your gods and call on the name of Jesus, O people of Lebanon. The ruins of Lebanon will be left for the younger to be rebuilt, says the Lord. So if Lebanon does not stop mm -hmm. allowing Hezbollah and terrorists to attack Israel, Lebanon will be brought to ruins. This is wow. what they have to stop. They're not helping wow, the situation. Wow, wow. They're hurting themselves. They're hurting their people. Yes. You know? I mean, and should we, when when words like this come, Amanda, because I'm always thinking, well, there must be a remnant in Lebanon. Like, how do we pray? Do we pray that, I mean, how do we pray for something like this when the Lord says something like this? What Especially for, for the believers. Well, of course, because there is a remnant in Lebanon. Of course, there mm -hmm. are believers. You pray for their protection right now um, okay. and that and that they get the ear of officials in the land because these officials, what they should be doing is saying the next one to fire a rocket is getting one dropped on them. You're going to stop. This is what the leadership of Lebanon should be doing right now. Right. You know, because they're allowing Hezbollah. And I was at the border between Israel and Lebanon. You wouldn't believe how close it is. 
I mean, I saw rocket shrapnel. And they have these cute little villages that look like villages, and they're not. They're uh-huh. stockpiled with weapons by Hezbollah. And I saw it. I looked right so down evil. in so Israel evil. on the Hezbollah villages. They uh-huh. are dangerously close to the border of Israel. And mm-hmm. Lebanon is allowing their country to be inserted into something that they really should be calling up Israeli intelligence and saying, we'll tell you where every one of these guys is in our country. Just come and get them out, please. This is what should be happening. It's not. Yeah. So Lebanon. We'll, they, pray, they, we'll pray for the believers there. For and believers in Lebanon, the Lord just protects them and, and moves yes. them out of harm's way. Yes. Okay. Wow. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, phenomenons of nature, of land, of ocean, of weather will continue in such a year, says the Lord. I have one that I can tell you about. They will continue to such biblical capital events. And they are such, says the Lord. And I shall continue to allow such to separate the people from that same spirit that ensnared them in Egypt, says the Lord. It is being allowed to demonstrate my power. The earth is my capital footstool and I, the Lord, do what I please because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That's capitalized. Okay. Amen. So I was caught in one of these plagues um, in a way. I was, we were safe though, but I witnessed it. You're like, Lord, why am I here? We were in Rhode Island. Mm-hmm. Okay. Near Watch Hill on the beach. Mm-hmm thousands of dragonflies out of nowhere swarm the beach we were caught in a plague of dragonflies dragon now it's the year of the dragon in china this is by no mistake this is happening right now in this year but i took pictures of it i mean in fact probably your team could look up the news article biblical plague of dragonflies on rhode island beach because Has that ever happened before? No, is that a- not happened before? They oh they don't know where they came from. I was talking to the staff. They're like, we they just showed up. Like we don't know where they came from. Thousands of them whizzing by me, whizzing by Chris, <laughs> swarming, and I'm looking around, going, "I'm in Egypt. Lord. I'm in Egypt right now." Like <laughs> to automatically think of the plagues. I mean, that's the first thing I would think of too. Like. Yep. And they called it a biblical plague in news articles. They called it a biblical plague. I thought, well, that's interesting because three out of the 10 plagues of Egypt were insects. Yes. So, uh, but I I witnessed it firsthand. I was there. Wow. Uh So just because you're a believer, I mean, you might things, you might be in the middle of something. You might have, but God will get you through it. it. Yeah, he will. God got us to not, one of them ran into us. Not one of them, you know, did anything to us. They just kind of swarmed around us. And we just, I just witnessed it. Oh my God. And I took pictures and you see these dragonflies whizzing by Chris's head. I'll show it next time I come on. But like you have all these dragonflies just flying by Chris's head. So we're, so here, I know you, you experienced that. So when, when the Lord says phenomenons of nature. Yep. Is that an example of something? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Phenomenons of nature, of land, of ocean, of weather will continue in such a year. So, and it was strange. It looked like they came off the ocean, the dragonflies. So it looked like they literally came in from the ocean. Wow. Which was very strange. Yes, it is Uh, strange. But I witnessed it. Oh, there they are. I was caught in that. (gasps) Look at all of them. I, I wasn't kidding you. This is thousands. Oh my gosh. Dra- and I was caught in the middle of that with Chris. Well, they ru- they ruined your beach day. That's a mess. You're like, you may ruin my beach day. You're not ruining my joy. Yeah, exactly. But this this happened in the past couple of weeks, past few weeks. Well, I wonder what, I, I'm sure I could look it up, but the forecast for like the expected, um, weather this year like i know the hurricanes have already been is there's another one forming now and it -hmm. just might be a busy uh busy year um the lord is warning us of that when there's a spiritual war that intensifies Mm -hmm. you, you see it you see the results of it in weather you know um you know with animals with nature the earth is groaning where the earth is groaning and crying out and you, and you see, this is the, re, the, the physical product of that. Wow. 
Mm -hmm. So I guess if, if you're, I would take this word, um, and even for, for me, cause I'm not right near the coast, but still, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be in serious prayer. If there's, if there's a storm or something coming our way, because to, to be led of the Lord, do I stay? Do I go Lord? What do we do? Yes. Because, uh, you know, this is a good time to seek the Lord wherever you live. If you're, if these storms are coming your way, seek the Lord. What should I do? Where yep. should I go? Because he'll, he'll guide you and protect you and lead you. Um, I mean, me and Ryan need to do that because, you know, it's when we get together and we pray, it's like, I want to know, Lord, what are you saying? What should we do? Mm -hmm. And and you need to right now because yeah. you know, it is groaning. There are things that are happening. You know, yeah. I mean, I was caught in a swarm of dragonflies. None of them touched me. None of them hurt me. None of them right. I witnessed it. But still, yes, you were you know? in it. I was yep. in it. Uh, so sometimes you'll be in it, but the Lord will protect you. Yes. From, you know, from any, from any harm. So just remember that. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, a double fall within family lines, within party lines, falls in two, says the Lord. This you shall see for an emergency meeting has been called. Now, this is interesting because this is July 11th. This word came. This is all from July 11th. All from July 11th. So this is, I get this all two days before everything starts to unfold. Wow. I know, right? Yep. Okay. So he says, uh, this you shall see for an emergency meeting has been called and the elephants in the room have sat with the most boastful of donkeys and developed an elaborate plan. They have moved to distract and switch and both parties are involved. What do I think this means? That had they succeeded against President Trump, that would have been the distraction all over the media and they could have switched Biden out and nobody would have cared. Wow. Distract well, their, plan, their plan got foiled. It did get foiled, praise God, says the yes. Lord. Including those on high committee, says the Lord. Those two who have been in Congress the longest will fall because of such a meeting, says the Lord. For when they attempt, it shall hit a snag and tear before the people of the nation. And it shall be a crisis for both parties, says the Lord, both parties capital. Wow, that's that's true. That happened. That happened. I know yeah. it was wild that this two days before, and I'm, and I'm wondering as I'm getting this word, because I've ask, i learned to ask questions later. Don't ask questions when I'm getting it. Just write what the Lord is telling you to write, Amanda. Don't ask the questions now. But when I got it, I went, Lord, what is going on? It's like something, some very serious events are about to unfold if I'm getting a word like this. Right. And it's like, he's saying it's coming. It's immediate. It's, you know, now. And, it's and, away from happening. Like that's right. the terminology he's using. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now you know why, obviously, you know. Now we know why. So you know unfolding. why. That's unfolding. Okay. Stay in my capital truth, says the Lord, for another sifting is set to take place both in the church and in leadership. My truth is your shield and buckler. Your faith is your shield. It is the gift of faith that must be activated in this hour. It must capital for it shall be a light in this valley. Idols were taken and destroyed in the Kidron Valley. In my word, says the Lord, this is your Kidron Valley moment, America. Leadership, the church. Take your idols and destroy them in this valley and bring them to ash in order that you may stand on the hill. For it shall be a very bumpy tumble off the hill of this nation, says the Lord. A very public capital tumble in threes, says the Lord, off the hill, in quotations. For that hill has been smeared and stained and littered with every detestable thing to me, where the satyrs dance and the jackals and wolves circle. The hill is more like a death valley. It is not raised up. It has been brought very low. Hmm. Interesting wording. What do you think he means on the three? Tumbles in threes. Now that's interesting. Right. right. It could be resignations in threes. Okay. You know, out of you know, it, it, you know, the administration. Well, we uh, saw one. Yeah. Oh, we saw. Yeah, one. He's on the beach right now. He's on the beach. Um, so we saw, we saw, we saw that. He's always on the beach in here. <laughs> well, no, we physically went there. And, and, you know, so we don't know who's running the country right now. We got this one on the beach and the other one gallivanting with a eunuch all over the United States of America. So who's I mean, running the country right now? I would love to know. The same person who's always been running it since day so. one. Yep. Yeah, Mr. American Farrow himself. Okay. That's right. 
So, and the Hill, I believe he's talking about Washington, D.C., because Washington, D.C. is nicknamed the Hill. So I, I, yes. I think there's just, okay. The White House shall be smeared with every charge and written upon it, says the Lord, for the charges are great and the scrolls are being positioned and that house shall shake, their ground shall shake, says the Lord. Their vegetation shall uproot and die for that ground has been cursed, says the Lord. Curse, that's capital, by those whose feet have touched that, who operated, or those whose feet that have touched, that have operated in rebellion and witchcraft to keep their seats, O first lady, says the Lord. You have indeed dabbled and gone to the dark arts for such. Instead, it shall bring defeat, says the Lord. For the darkness does not have an answer, all capitals, for my words that go forth from my throne and are spoken into the earth. Well, so, we saw, we see that then. Yeah. Yep. That's come to pass. That's come to pass because they're, yep, she, they were, you know, they were forced to, to step down. It definitely was a coup. Um, but a, apparently she dabbled in some stuff to try to stay. That does not surprise me. And it didn't work. Um, so, you know, that's what happens when you play with that stuff. Yep. Like playing with fire. It really is. Yes. You're going to get burned. Okay. All capitals here. Yes, the justice of Yahweh, the joy is entering Washington, D.C., California, New York, Michigan, New Mexico, Kansas, says the Lord. New Orleans shall be turned over, says the Lord. And the tables of the psychics and high priestess and money changers shall be turned over, says the Lord, for the time of your judgment and correction has come. So watch New Orleans. Praise right the now. Lord, because but, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. And the church is there. Say amen. It needs to happen. I mean, they're in the streets with psychic tables. Tons yes. of them. And yes. tarot cards. Mm -hmm. You know, and all that demonic stuff. Yes, it is demonic. You cannot, I'm sorry, you can, You cannot, yes. you know, try to explain away those are familiar spirits that you're tampering with and they are nasty. And they, in fact, I have a story about that that if we have time, I'll tell. Uh, okay. Something interesting happened in Rhode Island that the Lord sent me on assignment and it was quite amazing what happened. We have time. There. Tell, tell, tell. Okay. Okay. So... Two days before we leave Rhode Island, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My husband's aide, Gus, comes out for two days just to help me with Chris. Mm -hmm. And yep. so we're walking around where the shops are. And I see in front of one of the shops, tarot card reader from 12 to 8. So the Lord says to me, don't go in there today. And I said, okay, because I really want to go talk to the shop owner and maybe, you know what I mean? Plant a seed. So yes. the Lord tells me not to go in that day. So two days later... Before we go to leave, the Lord tells me, now I want you to go in there. So here I go on a mission right now. Now it's, it's kind of funny. Chris didn't want to come. He stayed in the room, but the, the shop was, was literally, I don't know, a minute walking distance from the room. It wasn't that far. Mm -hmm. So Gus follows me though. He's like, I want to see what's going to happen. <laughs> so, so, Gus, so Gus follows me and the Lord tells me to go into the shop and I go in there. And I'm thinking, okay, if I buy something, I have more time to talk to the to the shop owner. So I find two shirts and I go and I I put them down and I said to the shop owner, you know, I was going to come in a couple days ago, but you had a sign that said tarot card reader from 12 to 8. She goes, oh, did that freak you out? I said, no, actually, I'm in ministry and I know where tarot card readers get their information from. And they get them from something called familiar spirits and they are nasty and they don't play nice. Good and she you. said, oh, really? And I said, yes. And we're talking. And all of a sudden, the Lord says to me, you see that woman behind you? And there was a woman with a cane, older woman. Uh huh. She had a beautiful blouse and a piece of candy she was going to buy. You see her behind you. I want you to pay for, for what she has. So I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. So I turn around, right? I go to the shop owner, excuse me. Turn to the woman. And I mm -hmm. said, Hello, ma'am. Um, you know, I, you know, we have, you know, we have a ministry and we do this for people and I would really just like to bless you. And I would like to buy you that blouse and that candy. And she was shocked. Well, the shop owner looked like a deer in headlights because she said that woman is my mother. Aww. That woman is my mother. Aww. And so I brought her mom <laughs> up and I was telling them, well, when the Lord tells me to do something, I have learned to obey the voice of the Lord. And the Lord has instructed me to do this and I'm going to do this. And so I basically paid for her things, you know, and, you know, 
you know, say, God bless you guys, you know, thank you. And and I walk out and Gus yells, that was awesome. Because, <laughs> because the Lord drew a dividing line in that shop. Yes, amen. How card readers operate and how somebody prophetically operates when they hear the voice of God. Because I didn't know that was her mother. I've never seen this shop owner. I have never got into this shop, to be honest with you. This was the first time I did. Yes. So when the Lord yes. said stop the conversation and turn and offer to pay for the woman's things, that was showing her right there the difference yes. between what she welcomed in mm -hmm. and the voice of the Lord and his instruction that should be in that shop. Yes. That's so, amazing. That happened. That, that's amazing. And that's real life ministry. And a lot of times, I mean, there's so many key points in your story that you could teach off of, yeah. you know, you waited until the Lord said to go. He said, mm -hmm. don't go now. You waited. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then right when he said that you turned around, I mean, all of those things are like God setups for that woman, you know? And, and that's why we never stop praying they for were. people either, either mm -hmm. even if they own a, a tarot card shop, don't stop praying for your loved ones that are caught up in new age or Amen. caught up in, in another religion, because you never know the day the Lord's going to send in a minister or you or I, or anyone else into that shop who hears the voice of God. And that's the day the Lord pursues them. That's the day. I mean, that was her day, Amanda. That, that was the Lord day. Said, it's that's beautiful. Love I it. know he waited till, till till the last day to send me in. It was kind of interesting, but yep. He said, now you go. And uh, so I went on a mission. I'm like, okay. Love it. And I took off towards the shop. All right. Revival shall break out in Chicago, says the Lord. Um, gangs shall surrender to me. Now, I don't think that word is banned. I think it was something else. But it, 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 he's talking about the gangs that are in Chicago. Ban gangs. So maybe gangs that band together is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Shall surrender to me, says the Lord. Drug dealers shall throw their drugs in the street and repent. There is a move soon coming out of Chicago, says the Lord. The winds of change are blowing in and blowing out the leadership that has made deals with gangs and dealers to keep their seats. Like a whirlwind, it shall be blown out, says the Lord. Praise God. Now, Chicago is on the Lord's radar, too, because the DNC has decided to have their convention in Chicago. So this is interesting that, you know, the winds of change are yes. going to come to Chicago. The timing of it is interesting. Okay. Yes. They so need it. They so desperately need um, a move of God. Mm -hmm. They do. Chicago they really do. desperately needs it. Yes. Thus says the Lord, around the time of September, there shall be events in tandem. Multiples, that's capital, says the Lord, that are going to attempt to throw your nation into upheaval, says the Lord. Do not fall for the charade or the public parade they attempt to put on to punish the people of this nation. For the upheaval shall be a desperate attempt that shall look as if it is succeeding. However, ultimately shall cause much devastation through the branches of government. For all three branches simultaneously are about to be shaken and shaken hard. That's capital, says the Lord. For a whirlwind of their own making has turned on them, and their already weak branches shall shake and cause much to fall. Okay. Amanda, what do you think about that when he says, around the time of September, there shall be events in tandem? Because I'm thinking another uh, outbreak of something, or what are did you have any feeling towards that? Or I heard something today that Judge Merchant actually moved up the sentencing now. Mm, okay. Trump. We have to look that up, but I heard something of that, that I think the sentencing is getting moved up. Okay. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to look into that more. That may have something to do with this. Okay. Uh, as well. But yes, if it's in tandem and it's multiples, it's going to be one after the other, after the other. So yes, could it be? Could an outbreak definitely be in there, you know, or a pandemic? You're right. right. The election, That's what I mean. Right. Pandemic? Absolutely. That could be one of those things. I'm going to tell you this, too. You know, September, the high holy days start. Rosh Hashanah, then you have the 10 days of awe, and it concludes with Yom Kippur. Mm -hmm. Within the 10 days of awe this year, because Rosh Hashanah comes late, I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe Rosh Hashanah comes late. Yes, it does. Comes a little later this year the October 7th one-year anniversary will happen. 
So within the 10 days of awe between Rosh Hashanah and when Rosh Hashanah happens, the Jews believe a trial happens. A trial opens up on Rosh Hashanah in the court of God that concludes on Yom Kippur. And the judge really on Yom Kippur. They believe this. Yes. They, they I've never it. heard that ever. Yep. They believe that a trial happens and Yom Kippur is the conclusion wow. of that trial. Well, it happens to come late this year. And so the October 7th anniversary will be caught within that 10 days of awe. When, when we say, can you explain what is um, Rosh Hashanah? Okay, so Rosh Hashanah is the Feast of Trumpets, so it's when the shofar is blown. Okay, So and then what is Yom Kippur? Yom Kippur is the holiest day on the Jewish calendar. It is the Day of Atonement. Where people oh, the Day of Atonement, atone okay. For their sins. And coincidentally, on the eve of Yom Kippur, before it happens, a mm -hmm. comet is showing up in the Earth's atmosphere that hasn't come around in like a thousand years or something. I'm calling it the Yom Kippur Comet, which is very interesting that this is happening the night before Yom Kippur actually happens during the 10 days of awe. So, I, I, you know, something is up, people. There's something in the air. Signs, signs in the heavens. I mean, signs the Bible the says you'll see signs in the heavens. And yes. God does do signs in the heavens. He still does that. Yes, he does. He absolutely does. And the timing of this comet showing up and when it shows up and why it's showing up. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. So, so exciting. I find it exciting. Well, it is exciting. I mean, it's definitely going to keep you on the edge of your seat. I'll say, I'll say that much as we're watching things unfold here. Okay. I, I love what God does. I mean, I I love I see, you know, from hearing everyone share about what the Lord's doing, that yeah. sensing and hearing from the Lord, it's like I'm excited to see all that God's doing because we know all the things he's doing are for good. It's for our good. Yes. It is for our good. It is. God works all things together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Amen. Amen. Okay. I'm going to let you finish. Um, no, you finish your the word about September. Okay. Should people, should people be, they're obviously not afraid of what's happening because the Lord says here, do not fall for their charade or the public parade they attempt to to put on to punish people. Yeah. So don't fall for the charade. Remember that. Remember this word. Mark it on your calendar. You know, September. Come. Remember this word. Right. Because yes. there's going to be things coming. Remember that God yes. said, don't fall for that. Okay. I am God. There is no other. Stay the course, my capital children. Stay the course with me. That's capital. Do not get spellbound by the prognosticators and puppets who allure you to allow fear and rage to enter. Anchor in my capital word and you and your household shall and will be saved. For the enemy is, is desperately looking for weak areas right now to exploit, to steal, to destroy, to cause chaos. He is attempting any way he can and your authority through Christ Jesus and continually bringing that onslaught of power will stop serious attacks in this time. This is the hour for you to keep your sword of the spirit and shield of faith up continually. Do not let down your guard, says the Lord, for I am your front and rear guard, says the Lord. Know this day what has been spoken forth will be accomplished and that I, the Lord, your God, am with you, my capital children, even until the end of the age. The Lord is with you and will fight for you in this hour as you surrender and submit to my capital word, my will, my capital plans. So my capital purposes may be accomplished to their fullest in this unique time within the earth. Thus says the Lord in Jesus name. Amen. 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 So many good oh. things amanda so many yeah. good things praise god okay will you pray for any all all of the people watching however the lord leads you um before we end today's show uh if god puts anything on your heart um to to share with anyone uh, okay. we would love that i love when you pray okay thank you okay now sadie's tail goes by the
There is a speed bump on the front. There is a speed bump on the front. <laughs> 